In this video, we are going to discuss what are limits and what it means to evaluate a limit from one side. The textbook definition of the limit is the value a function approaches as the input gets nearer and nearer to some value. Or in other words, as our x gets closer to a certain value, what is our f of x, or y, getting closer to? And when dealing with limits, we have to take into consideration the behavior of the function from both sides of our desired x value. And over here is a shorthand way of writing the limit. We have the limit of a function as x approaches some value equals its corresponding y value. If you're still confused, don't worry, because we're about to get into some examples. So over here, we have the function f of x equals x squared, and we want to find the limit of that function as it approaches 2. Well, like I said in the lecture, we have to take into consideration the behavior of the function from both sides of our desired x. And one way we can do it is by looking at a table. So let's look at our left-hand side first. From the table, you can see that as we increase our x value to 2, our f of x also gets closer or approaches 4. Therefore, we can say that the limit of our function as x approaches 2 from the left side, which we denote with a negative sign because we're coming from the negative side of x, equals 4. Now remember, we have to take into consideration what our function is doing from the right side. So looking at our table, we see that as our x decreases to 2, our f of x also decreases and approaches 4. So we can say that the limit of our function as we approach the positive side of 2, since we're coming from the positive side of x, equals 4. And since the limit from the left side and the right side are equal to each other, we can say that the limit of x squared as x approaches 2 equals 4. Now let's look at another example. So over here, I drew the graph f of x equals 1 over x squared, and we are asked to find the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches 0. Well, like I said before, we have to take into consideration the behavior of our function as x approaches 0 from the left-hand side and x approaches 0 from the right-hand side. So from the left-hand side, we see that as our x approaches 0, our y increases to infinity. So we can say that the limit of our function as x approaches 0 from the left-hand side, which we denote with a negative, equals positive infinity. And we see that as our x approaches 0 from the right-hand side, our y also increases to infinity. So we can say that the limit of our function as x approaches 0 from the right-hand side, which we denote with a positive, equals positive infinity. And like I said before, if the limit from the left-hand side equals the limit from the right-hand side, then we can say that the limit of the function as x approaches 0 equals positive infinity. Now let's look at one last example. So in this problem, I graph the function f of x equals 1 over x, and we are asked to find the limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0. Well, like we did before, we have to look at the behavior of a function from the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So we see that as we approach x equals 0 from the left-hand side, our y becomes more and more negative and approaches negative infinity. So we can say that the limit of our function as x approaches 0 from the left-hand side, which we denote with a negative, equals negative infinity. And as we approach x from the right-hand side, 
we see that our y becomes more and more positive and approaches positive infinity. So we can say that the limit of 1 over x, as x approaches 0 from the right-hand side, which we denote with a positive sign, equals positive infinity. And now, since the limits from the left-hand side and the right-hand side do not equal, we can say that the limit of our function as x approaches 0 does not exist. And this is true for all functions. If the left-hand side of a limit does not equal the right-hand side of the limit, then we say that the limit of the function as it approaches that x value does not exist. So in recap, the limit is defined as the value a function approaches as the input gets nearer and nearer to some value. Or in other words, as x gets closer to a certain number, what is the f of x getting closer to? And when we are evaluating limits, we must look at the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the function around the x value. And the two limit properties that we learned today is that if the limit from the left-hand side equals the limit from the right-hand side, then we say that the limit of the function as x approaches some number equals that y value. And if the limit from the left-hand side does not equal the limit from the right-hand side, then we say that the limit of the function as x approaches that number does not exist. Thank you for watching this video and hope to see you next time.